you guys were right. The Marilex pump sprayers and foamers are the best in the detailing industry. So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'll be presenting the entire line of Marilex pump sprayers and foamers. I'm going to give you all the information that you can possibly think of. This is going to be probably the most detailed video about these products here. Uh, I did a lot of videos on car detailing tools, products, and equipment over the years, including a recent one on regular trigger sprayers. And I asked if you guys wanted to see something done on um, pump sprayers and foamers and you guys absolutely said yes i was flooded with emails messages and comments left and right and you guys were saying pan you have to test the marilex line so marilex is a company out of poland and to get to talk about marilex well we have to talk about the uh, official importer in the usa uh, which is luxury microfiber so they're the official distributor of marilex pump sprayers and foamers in the united states it's a company out of minnesota and uh, the owner sumit is is an absolutely wonderful individual. Uh, he contacted me and he basically, after having a huge discussion with Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage, which also uh, started to distribute these products in the US, thanks to Sumit from Luxury Microfiber, uh, well, got into a discussion of, Pan, you have to try a bunch of cool uh, products and things that he has. Uh, over the years, he's built amazing relationships uh, with all these manufacturers overseas. And he basically cut the middlemen and went straight to the source. And he has crazy connections in the industry. He's basically super passionate about car detailing. And his initial goal through Luxury Microfiber, his company, uh, was to connect people with some of the best microfiber towels in the world. And eventually his business and brand evolved to basically uh, cater a bunch of awesome detailing chemicals, tools, equipment, and microfiber towels, and basically have a fine selection of uh, all those detailing tools and products. And they also ship worldwide. So again, I'll leave links to all of these in the description under the video, but I wanna thank Luxury Microfiber uh, for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. Marilex, why are they so good? Basically, I'm telling you guys, these not only last super long when you pump them up, but there's a ton of features uh, that make these the best in the industry, or at least the best that I've tested so far. So again, you guys were right. Many of you guys who have been testing these say that these are the best. So first of all, let me break this down to make it simple before we dive into the demo. So you're going to see these, of course, demonstrated uh, with a bunch of other cool products. Uh, but first of all, this series, by the way, I'm going to have to divide it in three videos because we have so many cool things for me to present to you from Luxury Microfiber. Uh, some chemicals, some products, of course, microfiber towels, and a bunch of cool things. So uh, stay tuned in the coming weeks. You're going to see all those videos. Today, we're focusing on the Marilex pump sprayers. So they're divided essentially into two categories. So first of all, there is the Axel series. So A-X-E-L. So these are the foaming pump sprayers. So these one here generate foam. You'll see the, they have typically this blue top. So they have uh, alkaline or higher pH resistance because typically foaming products that we use have a higher alkaline uh, type thing. If you use like this one here, I like to have Brake Buster diluted uh, one part of product to 10 parts of water inside the pump sprayer. So a uh, wheel entire cleaner, but you guys, whatever cleaners you need to use that need some foaming up, you can use that for. I'm gonna give you, by the way, all the real world uses in detailing that you can have with these. And they come in different sizes. So we can see here, okay, let me focus back. Axle is the foaming, and then the rest of the category is called the Ergo series. The Ergo is the regular pump sprayers, so the non-foamers, and those are further subdivided into two categories that are color-coded. So the first one is the Industry series. This is the uh, top of the range. These one here have Viton seals, so the um, white bottles with the black tops have Viton seals, and those are acid resistant. So these are the most chemically resistant uh, pump sprayers that you can get in the series. And then you have the regular Master Series, which is these green bottles. So again, Master on the side. So this one here has uh, regular resistance. So if you have anything that has very uh, strong chemical action, uh, like for example, if you have uh, iron removers or you have acid-based wheel cleaners and that kind of stuff or any type of strong chemicals, I would go for the Industry Series. And then you're going to see there, um, you can have them in different sizes. So for example, we have the 1000 here, 1500. 2,000 and 3,000 and you're going to see that on the side they have these marks here markings allowing you to know how much volume you're putting so the thousand series like this you can put 
up to a thousand milliliters of product or a full liter. And on the side you have the quantity in ounces. And of course you don't filter the top because you need to have presence of air. So why are these so good? First of all, the build quality. Crazy. <laughs> top of the line. These are made out of this super hard gerbil plastic. Even if you drop them, don't be scared. These are not gonna crack. Uh, this is as good as it gets. It is built like a tank. So my buddy Matt Mormon from uh, Obsessed Garage in the US, uh, he has the YouTube channel and distributes product on his uh, Obsessed Garage website. He basically said, and he's hard to convince, that these are the best pump sprayers that he's ever tested. He's punted a bunch in the woods, like he says, or to the trash. And when he tried the Marilex, these are the best. And I fully understand Matt and why. It's because the quality is definitely there. So build quality, second to none. Everything is super high grade. The ergonomics are absolutely amazing as well. So you have this nice profiled handle here. So whether you have smaller hands or like me, big hands, this is perfect for any size. And then you have great power. So these here, when fully pumped, uh, you can get up to 60 PSI. The actual number is 58 PSI that comes out of there. So you're gonna see in the demo, the, the quality of the spray that comes out of this is just nuts. Uh, if you're doing a rinseless wash, for example, which is one of my favorite uses for this, or a uh, pre-treatment with a rinseless wash on your vehicle, well, this is fantastic because it's gonna knock off a lot of that loose dirt and debris before you even have to go to your pressure washer. So uh, just this alone, tremendous power. By the way, when you're pumping this up to full capacity, you know you've reached the full capacity when you're going to hear the, shh, the hissing sound. So that's when you know you're fully pressurized. Uh, next, you get a long working time. So a lot of the pump sprayers, when you're done pumping them, let's say 20 or 30 times, which is an average amount of pumps, and you start using them, after a few seconds, you already lose pretty much all the pressure and you have to continuously pump to get more pressure. Not with the Marilex series of pump sprayers. Uh, basically with this, I can go around my uh, Porsche 911 Turbo S in a single fully, uh, fully pumped system. Uh, and or you can do half a bigger vehicle and do the other half with a few more pumps. I mean, this, it seems like it goes on forever. Again, you're gonna see this in the demo. So they're chemically resistant uh, sprayers, especially if you get the industry series with the Viton seals. These are the green seals, by the way, which we can show you here in the internals. You can remove, by the way, this little tip here in the front that I'll show you in a bit, but you can see the green Viton seals. Very easy to service also. If anything goes wrong with one of the seals or the parts, you can easily take it apart and you can order more of the replacement parts out of the luxury microfiber store. Uh, so this one here, the uh, regular tip that comes with it, the white one, is the wide spread. And they have a convenient pocket here on top or a uh, storage compartment for the other tips that you have, like this one here, the green one, which is a more precise or directional spray. So this one here is a more controlled spray or more directional, once again. And the cap also serves as a tool. So you see this lip. What's cool is that if you have to control the direction of the tips that are inside there, you can use it as a screwdriver basically and turn it. And this is mainly evident when you have the foaming sprayer like this. So look at the tip here in the front. So you see this, you can put your tool onto there and then turn it left or right, whether you want a vert, well, let me show you this zoom in. All right, so you want a vertical fan spread or you can twist it to have the horizontal spread as you want. So it's very smart the way they came out with this. So you have this nice little storage Again, in that cap that you can store like that, you can easily replace the tip for a more directional or focused tip if you want to. So the uh, you have a button also on the uh, handle here for this is the automatic trigger sprayer. So it's a lock that you can press and lock just like this. And this way you get a continuous spray without having to activate the trigger on your own. So you can lock it or unlock it. And then you select just like this, you depress it or again, you set it to lock, to auto, and then it locks itself and you unlock it. So basically you have the automatic function. Also, if you notice on the head here, they have the 3D flex technology. Why is that? Basically the uh, sprayer works regardless of which angle you're in. So even if you're upside down, it's still gonna be spraying. And why is that? Because if we look at the internals, if I unscrew the head. So you get this weighted device here 
hopefully again, hopefully you can see this. So you get this weighted device. So regardless of where you are, it's always gonna be picking up liquid, whether you're sideways or you're upside down. So this little device picks up tons of liquid and the pressure that you generate, again, is amazing. So you have the different tips. You also have the storage, the pricing also. I don't know how they can sell this for that little price. They could easily be selling these for twice the price. So you're getting tons of value as well because the build quality, I mean, you buy these once and they should last pretty much your entire life. That's how good these uh, pump sprayers are. Uh, also, so you have the uh, pressure release valve on the side. So that's another cool thing about this one. There's some where you have to do the pressure release valve with your second hand, but this one, when you have it in hand, if you look here on the side, you see this button? single hand operation so that's the pressure release there you go and you can press that and it's going to release the pressure so that is a cool feature because you can do that either with your finger here or with your thumb as you want but single operation to release the pressure on the side of the bottle so that was pretty uh, pretty sleek i find it's just you feel that there's been a lot of thought that was put into this and uh yeah again it works pretty pretty cool it's available in different sizes so this one here is the industry series again you have the master series so if you don't have anything that's super strong in chemicals something like ph6 7 or 8 so near the neutral level this will be good enough for you if you have anything stronger i'd go for the industry series and if you have a foaming type well again you have the axle foamer there's the 2000 series the, the 3000 series so these are the foaming trigger sprayers uh, again these ones are the blue top so they can resist alkaline cleaners, hence why we usually use them, stuff like uh, engine bay degreasers, all-purpose cleaners, wheel and tire cleaners, higher pH stuff, right? So these can resist those chemicals. So this one here produces awesome foam. Uh, again, you're going to have to test your dilutions depending on your setup, your quality of water and what product you're using. Uh, for me, I found that for Breakbuster, a 1 to 10 dilution works fantastically well. So PNS Breakbuster, the wheel cleaner, that works well. But again, do your tests. And once you figure out which dilution works best for you, I mean, these are absolutely crazy. So when would you use the uh, axle foamer? Again, so you can use a uh, wheel cleaner, of course, if you want to, but there's a bunch of uh, other, other stuff that you can do. For example, a person who doesn't have a foam cannon with a uh, pressure washer and you still want to have some type of snow foam on your vehicle uh, for the pre-wash or to add lubrication on your surface before, before you do the contact wash, well, you could use this. So something like I was testing it with uh, GSM from uh, Koch Kemi. So that's a fantastic uh, shampoo that can also act as a, a pre-wash snow foam. So it works well in this or, or anything you might use it for, for uh, upholstery, for example. So cleaning carpets, upholstery in vehicles before you go ahead and agitate with a brush and then uh, with a carpet extractor if you have one. So for the pre-treatment with this, if you have a foaming type cleaner, that's fantastic for that. Uh, engine bay detailing. So if you have a degreaser or an APC that you dilute and you put this in there and you want to spray inside your engine bay, it just works absolutely fantastically well uh, and uh, definitely has that nice quality foam about it as well and by the way talking about quality foam it comes with different tips so you have the tip that comes with it is the one i prefer as far as the fan output but you can control how thick or how dry or wet the foam is so you have the high foam which is the dark blue the medium foam which is the uh, lighter blue and then you have the white which is the uh, small foam so the the uh, lightest of the foams and of course the darkest or the high foam is the one that has the richest and densest and to do that it's pretty simple once again they thought about everything to be able to change these tips easily so you remove the front part and you just pull this here and these are the colored tips that you can change so this one here changes the density of the foam or how wet or how dry it comes out you place the uh, tip back in there the one that you selected, you screw the cap back on and you're good to go. So, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, guys. Uh, and as I said, so another um, use that I have for this is to use it for wheel and tire cleaners. Have that nice foam spread on the wheel and tire and to start scrubbing and uh, cleaning the, the wheels and tires. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, you can do your wheel arches as well with this. So inside your wheel wells, whether they're carpeted or plastic, if you want to have your cleaner go in there and produce some nice foam that you can start scrubbing, this is perfect for that. Now, if we talk about the uses for the industry 
sprayer. So what would you do with these bad boys? Well, again, you can do crazy stuff. You can add wheel cleaners, iron removers in there, uh, rinseless washes, pre-treatment with an APC to remove any traffic films. You can put power clean in there, uh, Green Star from Kochemi, Multi-X by CarPro. Uh, if you're applying uh, toppers for using as drying aids or just any topper on top of your existing protection, this is great to spray that liquid evenly and be more efficient in your spraying. Uh, you can use this to put glass cleaners in there. They work super well for that. Uh, door jams cleaning, if you have that. Uh, your, um, your trunk jams as well. Uh, your hood jams when you lift the hood uh, where your engine bay is. When you're doing the final touches, of course, when you're detailing. If you have some APC or rinseless wash that you want to use for that. Uh, PPF installers as well. A lot of guys who install paint protection films, uh, they always use these pump sprayers. Well, this one here is probably the last one that they'll ever need because they are that good and they perform so well. So for this demo, I know you guys are dying to see the demo. What we're going to do, I'm going to do a rinseless wash. What we're going to use for that today is Revive. So this is a rinseless wash concentrate from Luxury Microfiber. And the difference with this, it has more surfactants than traditional rinseless washes. And why is that? It has more cleaning power. Uh, it has great slickness when you're using this as well. That's one thing I noticed. So the viscosity when you're touching it right out of the bottle, you can feel that it's going to be something that has high lubricity. And that's what's needed when you're rinseless washing to make sure that you have a clean surface to work with. But that's safe also. So you're reducing the chances of marring or scratching, right? When you're uh, doing that kind of stuff. And Sumit lives in Minnesota in the U.S., uh, where their winters are pretty dramatic as well. And uh, he had to find a solution because he can't use water in his garage during winter. And so uh, he developed this uh, with his team of uh, labs that work on this kind of stuff. And there's a light bubble gum scent to it. So it's super pleasant to use as well. Very light in scent, but very pleasant. And again, just the cleaning power, you're going to notice uh, in the demo when I was cleaning uh, the uh, my girlfriend's vehicle that is has a graphene ceramic coating on it. Well, it started restoring the hydrophobic properties, removing that traffic film, uh, road salts, and all that kind of crap as soon as I started spraying it on. And so I knew this was going to be very good. And the uh, dilution ratio. So if we look here in the back, this is very heavily concentrated. So all you need is one ounce of this product to every three gallons of water in a bucket or a pump sprayer. Uh, and if you want to use it as a clay lubricant or a quick detail spray, you can add half an ounce for a 22 ounce uh, amount of water in a spray bottle and that's more for spot cleaning if you want to remove bird droppings and things like that or again use it as a clay lube so a little goes a long way so in your three gallon bucket or a five gallon bucket with three gallons of water uh, only an ounce of this is needed so uh, yeah very very high concentration and it works super well and of course with this you need wash media right so to go with this luxury microfiber, that's one thing I absolutely loved as well and more on that in future videos too. Uh, but we're going to use the Big Daddy microfiber towel. So this one here, if we look at it in size, it's 15 inches by 18 inches, 800 D GSM. It's a dual pile with a blue satin edge, so very soft and dual pile because you have piles on both sides and you have this gray and blue. And the softness and plushness of this makes it perfect. Let me give you a close-up perhaps of the rear as well so you can see this. So they're ideal for rinseless washing as you're going to see. Spray waxing, polishing, final buffing, anything, anything that you need a gentle towel for, this will go. And when you fold it, it is perfect. If you can see like for the size of my hand, this is perfect to wipe your rinseless wash when you're using it. And you just dunk a bunch of these in the, um, in the bucket as you go. And uh, you're able to have fresh clean sides that will uh, not scratch or mar the surface as long as you know what you're doing and if you're doing it right. I have a full tutorial by the way on rinseless washes on my channel so go ahead and check that out. But uh, yeah, so we're using the Big Daddy microfiber towels from Luxury Microfiber, the Revive Rinseless Wash Concentrate from Luxury Microfiber and you're going to see of course the uh, Marilex pump sprayers in action. So let's dive right into the demo. All right, guys, so let's dive right into this demo. So we'll be using the uh, Marilex pump sprayer. This is the uh, Ergo series, the industry version. So this has the Vitan seals, acid resistant, chemical resistant, all that kind of stuff. We'll be using the Luxury Microfiber Rinseless Wash Concentrate 
So very, very good the cleaning power, thanks to all these surfactants and higher level of detergents, very slick to the touch. And uh, we'll have the very plush 800 GSM Big Daddy microfiber towels by Luxury Microfiber. So dual-sided towels. You can also use a microfiber wash mitt for the wash media, or some even use dedicated sponges that are made for rinseless washes. Uh, but I digress, this is not a rinseless wash tutorial, by the way. I already have that on my channel if you wanna search for the full tutorial. But basically, we're demonstrating the pump sprayer, the liquid, and the microfiber towels. So first of all, in the wash bucket, I have three gallons of water, and I'm gonna show you how I do my mix, and also how you get it right for the pump sprayer. It's pretty simple. So first of all, in those three gallons of water in the bucket, we're going to measure just one ounce, shake the bottle well, of the rinseless wash concentrate from Luxury Microfiber. Again, this one here has a higher concentration of surfactants for more cleaning power. And it is very, very safe on the surface because it has tons of lubrication. So it's very slick when you're using it. So one ounce of this, we're gonna simply pour it in our bucket. There we go. And then you're going to quickly stir the contents that are in there. And because we know that the concentration is exactly what we need. So this is one ounce of rinseless wash concentrate for every three gallons of water. Then it's simply a matter of dunking the container in the bucket to fill it up. So that's how you make sure that you have the proper concentration inside your pump sprayer. So you fill that up to capacity. So this one goes up to about a liter because this is the 1000 series. So there we go. We're gonna put the top back on, you're gonna screw it on, and you're gonna see these guys have so much capacity of pressure, it's crazy. Up to 60 PSI, the precise amount is 58 PSI. So the liquid is in there now, as you can tell. So we filled it up to capacity. So here, this is the fill line, so you don't fill it up to the top, right? Because you need air to go in there. So fill it up to the, to the maximum, and then it's simply a matter of pumping it up to fully pressurize and you know you're done pressurizing it when you're hearing the psh from the release valve on the side. So when you hear that sound of air hissing, that's when you know that you're fully pressurized. So there you go, hopefully you heard that, we're fully pressurized. Uh, approximately 30 to 35 pumps for the full pressure. Let me back off here. So you're gonna see just how much power this thing has. So you're gonna spray from top to bottom. You can do, of course, your entire vehicle. Uh, of course, use common sense. So we're in the middle of winter. Yes, this is dirty. Anything beyond this though, if it's fully caked in mud, you did some sort of rally or who knows what else, uh, you would pressure rinse all of that first. It's not because it's called rinseless wash that you never use rinsing with your pressure washer if need be. So for very, very heavy, uh, heavily dirty vehicles, heavily soiled, lots of mud caked on, crusted stuff, you're gonna wanna pressure rinse that off first. So this is an acceptable level of dirt today. The vehicle was last washed about a month ago. So you're gonna spray this. So the uh, trigger on top, and there's so much pressure from the unit that already I can see that the uh, dirt is starting to getting lifted. And thanks to the 58 PSI that this generates, we can already tell this beating of water and it's gonna help to pull all of that down. So you can tell here on the back, let's do that as well. A fully pressurized pump setup like this, you could probably do one side of the vehicle all at once. And then see, I put it on the auto button now, so it's doing it on its own. And look, it's still going. You have so much capabilities as far as liquid goes, it's crazy. So put that aside. Now you're gonna take your microfiber towels or microfiber wash mitt or whatever media you're using, put that into the solution. And for rinseless washing, you always wanna get it where it's barely dripping. So to the point where it's dripping just like this, but not more than that. So you're gonna fold your towel in eighths, just like this. 
And when you apply your towel on the surface, you're gently rolling on the surface. So you're pushing the towel and you're rolling to lift. That way the dirt doesn't get really pushed onto the vehicle and then you move to a fresh clean side and you continue on, so on and so forth. So for the paint, let me give you an example. So we start off here and then I'm gently rolling and lifting the towel as I'm going. There we go, so that's one side. You have a clean and dry side for the second one. Pushing and rolling. Then you can flip your towel. Again, rolling just like that. And we can tell, by the way, hopefully you can see on camera all that dirt that is being lifted. So another clean and dry side as we're rolling. We can move to the other side. There we go. This is even more obvious on the yellow side, right? So again, you're always working clean. This is for the side plastic moldings. And finish this half, this side here. And then for the side pillars, the glossy black, one swipe down, and that's how you avoid swirl marks, right? And then for the glass, this is much easier, so no worries about scratching that. And there we go. So you take your towel, you can set that aside. You always have the rest of your clean towels or clean media in your bucket. And also in the uh, bottom of the bucket, always have some sort of bucket filter uh, uh, or grid guard, as they say, that way it keeps the dirt in the bottom and doesn't come back up. So you move around the rest of your vehicle that way, and that's how you get a clean surface. Now, we're gonna leave it wet now with the uh, solution on top, so the luxury microfiber rinseless solution, because we're gonna come back to dry it and do some maintenance as well, but that's gonna be for the future upcoming videos, so you have to make sure to stay tuned. So again, we used the uh, Industry Ergo, so this is the uh, Marilex pump sprayer, so very, very good pressure that you have in there. Absolutely tremendous performance. And just with the pressure alone, all that dirt started to be removed and brought down. Also thanks to the uh, luxury microfiber Revive Rinseless Wash Concentrate. So tons of lubrication when you're using this. It has this light bubblegum fragrance that uh, smells awesome as well. And it has uh, a lot of detergents in there more than your average rinseless wash solution so it actually does a better job at cleaning and I can already tell especially in the lower parts where we weren't getting any water beating or sheeting because they were maxed by all the dirt now I can tell the water is beating and it's just rolling off so uh, yeah great job and of course we had great microfiber towels this is the Big Daddy from Luxury Microfiber so again, very high quality, dual pile, 800 GSM, super plush, very safe. It has that blue suede satin edge there, just some high quality fabrics. And uh, yeah, that way you're not scratching your paint. You're doing a great job. And for those of you who are apartment dwellers or condo dwellers or live in places where access to water is limited or restricted, using a rinseless wash is fantastic for that. Oh man, that was a great demo, guys. Uh, I, by the way, all the uh, links to the tools, the products, the equipment, I'll let them in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So uh, yeah, once again, the Marilex pump sprayers and foamers divided into two categories. So we have the axle foamers, then we have the Ergo series, which are non-foaming. So for the regular pump sprayers, which are again subdivided into the Ergo series, which the industry series, sorry, which are these uh, white uh, bottles with the black tops. These have the Vitan seals that are also acid resistant, the highest chemical resistance that they have in the brand. And you have the regular master series 
in the Ergo line, which are not acid resistant. So for any regular chemicals that you might have, the best build quality, the best value, the longest working time, that 58 PSI of pressure that you get out of it. Uh, the working time is insane. You get these tips that are easy to switch out, these clever compartments that you have. Uh, you have the auto uh, button there for continuous spraying without you trigger activating all the time. Uh, you have the 3D Flex technology so it can continue spraying even if it's upside down on its side, uh, normal regardless. It has the markings so you know exactly how much uh, liquid you're putting in there. It has everything. There's even this other clever storage. So if we look here, there's this cap that you can lift off. So if you want to add more of your tips, you can put them inside there and then you simply close that cap back up and there you go. So look how clever. Ergonomics, second to none, built like a tank. Available in different sizes once again. So the 1000 series, 1500, 2000, 3000, so on and so forth. They even have what they call their Mini Vitan 1000. So if you want just a regular trigger sprayer that can resist acids, uh, stuff like acid wheel cleaners, like the uh, Meguiar's Wheel Brightener, for example. This is perfect for that because again, it has the Vitan seals. So again, another one that's built like a tank. It has these uh, graduation marks here on the side so you know exactly how much liquid you're adding in there. Semi-translucent, very good ergonomics like the rest of their lineup. And uh, they're just, huh, don't take my word for it. If you search for these Marilex pump sprayers and foamers on YouTube, you're not going to see a single negative review. Everybody that has tested them absolutely loves them. Whether you're a weekend warrior, uh, somebody that's beginning in the industry as far as a professional or a detailing professional with 25 years of uh, detailing or more, you will absolutely find that these are the best that you'll ever need. And uh, definitely, I'm happy that Sumit introduced me to these. So thumbs up to Sumit from Luxury Microfiber, not only for sponsoring this video, making all of this possible, uh, but basically, being serious when he said that uh, he was catering the best possible products in the world in his business he is not kidding uh, again have a look i'll drop a link to the luxury microfiber store in the description under the video and have a look at everything else he's offering it's pretty cool uh, the other thing we used was the revive rinseless wash concentrate so again uh, very very concentrated only an ounce was needed in three gallons of water uh, great lubricity so great lubrication which is needed when you're doing the um the rinseless washing technique and also very good cleaning power thanks to more um, uh, more of the concentrates that you need in there, the surfactants that give you more cleaning power. So great product and like all the microfiber towels from Luxury Microfiber, the Big Daddy towels that I also recommend for rinseless washing uh, did an absolute tremendous job. They come out clean every time you wash them. Of course, don't forget before you start using microfiber towels when you buy them new, always wash them before the first use. Um, whether you're using cold or warm water, it doesn't really matter on the washing side, uh, but use a microfiber detergent or an all-free type detergent with no uh, fabric softeners inside there, no bleaches, no dyes, no added scents, just a free and clear uh, detergent. And also when you're putting them in the dryer, that's where it's crucial. Do not put too much heat in there. So either low heat or no heat. So very light tumble drying or air drying or air, let them air dry, right? Hang them to dry if you can or if you want and do not put dryer sheets in your dryer. That's also very important. I have a tutorial on how to properly clean microfiber towels if you want to go ahead and check that out. So the next part now, the vehicle is still wet, right? So there's still water and that rinseless wash solution. You're going to have to come back for the next video because we're going to dry it using what is probably my favorite new microfiber drying towel or should I say towels? Why am I putting an S at the end of that? Is there more than one? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned for that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, smash the thumbs up button. That always shows me uh, your tremendous support. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you click the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. And while you're down there, hit the notifications icon. That's that bell icon and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video to YouTube. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.